previously. <laughs> and now we continue. Hey everybody, hey guys, I'm Dan here, and welcome back to our Smash Bros. Oh, the world of lights. So, first thing, first, first thing first, these videos were supposed to be go up like, last week, but apparently, because like, I was going to go away for Christmas, I was going to go visit some family for Christmas, so I was going to have like a shit ton of crap for this video uploaded, ready, like before Christmas. But YouTube, like, it's, it's fucked up. It really, like, I had like 12 videos ready to go, like, ready to go for before Christmas, and YouTube kind of, just, kind, YouTube kind of just like, like fucked up. So, like, this is what, like, I had to literally, like, fuck, I had to, like, fuck, fucking YouTube fucked up. So, like, yeah, that's why I, that's why I didn't see a lot of Smashbox videos out. They are all supposed to go for Christmas, so apparently it, it fucked up. Also, if you hear, I, I don't know if you hear, but my sister's, like, doing some shit upstairs. She, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. She, she's, like, fucking the floor or something. I, I, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but, like, if you hear creaks, that's probably why. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and that cool bell so you to stay notified. Now let's continue on our way. Simon, have the whipper. Let's go. Her, her, wait, Hercules? Go. Oh, shit, come get your whips. Ah, no, 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 come get your whips. Naughty. No, no. Holy flame. I, I love doing that move. I love doing that move. I've been practicing a lot with Simon and Richter. I really have. Ah, dick. <laughs> Uh, I mean, by practicing a lot, I mean, I've been trying my best. Oh! Oh! Oh, and that's what a way to start the video. What a fucking way to start the video. Get your whippings. Come forth and get thy whips. Fuck. I got so far in this world light thing, too. I re I've gotten so far. I legit, like, almost got to the end. I legit almost got to the end. Like, I was supposed to have the end of World of Light before New Year's. But thanks to YouTube fuck ups! Oh boy! You're about to see a humongous influx of fucking Smash Brothers videos. You're gonna see like 12 in one day, I swear. Like, it's gonna be a point where like, you're gonna see 12 Smash Brothers videos in one day. Fuck out of here, King DVD. Fuck out of here. No, I said, come on, come on. Fuck out of here! Yep. You're gone, thought in all your evil ways. Moblin? Shit, an ugly ass moblin. Fucking dog fucked a goblin. Although, also, who here like watching Netflix a lot? Right, there's this new anime on Netflix called Baki. What the fuck is that all about? Somebody please explain to me what the fuck. It's one of those animes where like you watch, and the entire time you're watching it, you're just like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, her. Oh yeah, she's my main party. I forgot in like fucking um, I forgot what I think of Awakening. She was like, if you chose the evil path, she was the daughter of like, of like a character who chose the evil path. And she is so helpful, like, she's like so good. But like, that anime is just like, be oh, fuck. And be gone. It's like, what, what the fuck? What the fuck am I watching? Like, somebody please, somebody tell me that Baki is like based off of an anime from like, from like 1980. But like, what? What the fuck? Like, oh, we got pit. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, the fucking go pit. No, 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 no. Oh god, I can't. Do I wish I was better. I'm actually bad. I wish I was better. Ready. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! Okay, sorry, I had to send a quick text! Oh, bop! We got- Oh! I so missed that. Ah, fuck. Ah, ah dick! Ah! Uh, that! Bop! Ah, oh, I missed that one. Also, I found out you can do this with Simon. <laughs> I love that reference in the Castlevania, um, also Castlevania, uh, Super Castlevania 4. You can do that the whip. Like, I never, like, was, I love that little nod reference. You can spin the whip like that. Have a cake, too. I don't like. Alright. Come on, I just got, like, this new speaker for Christmas. I fucking love it. I fucking. 
fucking love it. It's it's loud as shit. Like if I turn on my if I turn the no, if I turn like the uh, buzzer on on my phone, you will hear some loud shit. <laughs> you are gonna hear some ear buffing shit. <gasps> yes, the lightning fisher is gone. Yeah, time to progress into story mode. Time to progress. Temple of Light. I'm surprised we didn't get we didn't we do a boss at all. I think there are three bosses in this game. I'm not sure. I think there's three bosses. I think there's. I think we already beat two of them. I think. I think the last one is. I'm not sure. Okay, I heard that Dracula is a boss in this game, but I don't know if it's a boss in World of Light or a boss in Classic Mode. I know I faced him in Classic Mode. Like, oh wait, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. I got this guy. I got. I was able to use this shit. Let me. Let's drop me all the way. Oh, 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 wait, I forgot, it's like, uh, I forgot, like, I unlocked that part yet. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I can't, I can't lock something new, forgot, I, was, I forgot, I forgot I was saving that for this guy. Isabel! <gasps> no, I heard she's OP in this. I heard Isabel's actually OP in this. I heard she's even more deadlier than fucking villager. I shall end your evil ways, Isabel. I shall end your evil ways! Oh, see? See, um, see already, I mean, already with the bullshit! Already! Come here, come here, come here. See? Get your, come get your whips! Holy flame! You see? You see? Come here, come here. Oh, oh, she's gone? Wait, what? That easy? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Teddy. Huh? Earthbound series. No, I've never played Earthbound series. I've never I've never played one. I've never like I have never actually ever played Ready? any Earthbound games. Go! I'm like, if they have, if they ever make like a remastered version or like a free remastered version of Earthbound, I'd be definitely. Oh, car, car, car! Oh, how did that reach? Ah! Like, if they legit like ever remaster Earthbound, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably do like, I'll probably do a series on it. I've heard it's a really. Good... Oh my gosh! Bitch! <laughs> You're bucking. I'll have nothing compared to a whip. Your punches are ineffective thanks to my vampire killer. <laughs> Bitch, well, I'll go get my whip. See what happens. Do I open up or... No, aw. Is there another person? I think there's like one more person over here I got unlock. Let me see. Uh... Ooh, there's a guy up there. I know there's a guy up there. I think like there's two people I have to... Yeah, see, one up there. Let me lock them first. Where's up heaven, huh? Enemy easy to track my item. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. Na 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 Go! Oh shit, I'm getting flashbacks! I'm getting flashbacks on the stage! Be god! Oh, you want some two into the war? The soup do! Victory! That was easy. That was actually real easy shit. Like that stage gave me a little bit of flash. They gave me peace. It's like the bane of my existence in this game. Fucking hate that. Let me let me get some, let me get some mug real quick. So let me let me get let me get some mug. Uh, wait, let me wait, no, no, let me let me go over here, and get my mug, and then ah, good mug, good mug. Ah, oh, good that's good mug. The Meryl stuff is the mug. The cat's like sniffing Ready? the mug. He's like, what is that? Oh. What? What is that? <laughs> is this yummies? Is this, this cat tree? Come here. Come here and get your whip. Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The bell. You don't fuck. Yes. That's why I love that. I love that fucking. I love that thing. It comes back and hits you on the recoil. Ah. You want to be a dick on. Oh my. See this is why I hate the bell. You see this is why? Fuck out of here. Holy flame! <gasps> Bitch! Crap, crap! 
Ugh, fuck out of here! <laughs> I love I love Simon's throw, because it's a literal throw. He just throws you. Like, like it's a literal get GTFO throw. It's the get the fuck off my stage. You are not welcome here no more. It's a literal... Oh, me Sword Fighter! <gasps> Wait a minute, that means we get to play as the me character I created? So I have some history with that. Like, legit, I would love to explain to you some history I have with that. If, like... Stop! stop. I want to go to the third... Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fine, I guess we're not having a third one, then. Because we're not having an extra perk. If we are playing we, uh, Sword Fighter, I'm definitely playing as him for that one. Because if it does, like, show the character I created, I will, like, legit explain to you this. Ah, fucking hell! Boom! Whoop! Oh, I love that move. Ugh. Oh! I love doing that shit! Whoop! Holy flame in the whip! I love that combo! I love that combo! Holy flame in the whip! Come get your flaming whips! Oh, come get your flaming whips! Best you served hot! Thanks to you, my Simon! Alright, so let's check real quick. If it is, then like, I, I, time for some explaining. Time for some explaining. Yes! Okay, okay. So, I, I told, I, I said this a lot in the other videos, how I always wanted to make a video game. And like, I always had like this idea in my head. Ever since I was little, I've always had this idea for a video game. I've always like, I legit always want to do it. Even till now, I create the script. You know, I had stories on it, the character, like, I legit came sort of close to making it. It's just hard for me to find, uh, like, actual, like, like, people to help me. Like, it's kind of hard to find people to actually help with it. That's why, you know, anytime, you know, if you guys have any experience, you know, making games, drawing, coding, like, if you're interested in, like, you know, wanting to make an actual video game, let me know. But, yeah, I had, like, everything set out, and the main character, like, when I was little, I didn't know a lot about writing, so always had the main character named after me. And now that I'm older, you know, that's uh, it's not, really, not, not, not really a good idea. It, it's amateurish, put it that way. A lot of people said that it was very amateurish to have the main character named after you, which, you know, I sort of agree with why the main character before it was, it was named Dan, because, you know, I was little, I didn't really know much. So now I am like think about changing the main character's name, but I wasn't really sure. So, so far, this is the name I have in a placeholder. Vanna. V oh, Vanus. That's really the name I have in a placeholder. I was thinking maybe Zack or something like that. Like, something like Zack or something. I'm not really sure, but, you know, Vanus. So so something like, let me know in the comment section. Um, what is your cool name for a JRPG character? Like a main character. So, basically, Vanus. I try to make him look as, you know, as close as I had imagined him to. So... He, I, I try my best. Like they didn't have the goggles, so but like, yeah, they didn't have like the actual. They had close to shirt. They didn't have dual swords, so like I had to do with one sword. But Ready? if you um, Go! yeah, if you like, I, I, I definitely want to explain more about the character. I definitely want to explain more about it. Like if you guys want, I can definitely like do an entire part of just me explaining the character and stuff like that. So if anybody's interested have like a better idea of like what like what the game is and all that but i'll definitely like i'm definitely gonna like start acting out like if they have the meat like the meat a uh, fighter i had like the the three characters the gunner the the sword fight the sword fighter and the uh brawler i had them which coincidentally like there are three characters in the game that kind of fit that description vaguely <laughs> so i had them like um I had the I created the me version of them in here. For example, the gunner, the me gunner, I had is Cassandra. She in the game, she is kind of like she's kind of like the gun person in the game. For the brawler, I had Dimitri because she he is kind of like the bare fist brawler character of the game. And for the sword fighter, I have you know name place Vanus. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. If you have like any suggestions or like any like you know if you if you guys want to help make a game, uh, if any suggestions on character names. You know, if you guys want to know more about the story, let me know. I'm always down to talk about it. I, I, I've been wanting to do this since I was little, and uh, I would really appreciate it if, like, you know, any of you, if anybody wants to help. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Go! But let's go! Ugh. Huh? Dude, uh, oh my, oh my god. Okay, I need to change that move. That move is like, that move will get me killed. Watch, watch. 
yet. Wait. Hey, stop. I want to demonstrate this. Watch. Wait, wait, what? We fixed it? Before that move went off the map. Yeah, see? That move, go, that move goes off the map. And, like, I often use that in the air. So I got to see if I can change that move. Because that's a good move and all, but it's only good if I'm on the ground. If you're in the air and Ready? use that move, you're Go fucked. Because <laughs> if, if you're going over that edge, you're just straight fucked. Ah. I won't lose. Ah. Ah, fuck. Huh? Ah. Ah. Ha, too fast for you. You see? Yes. Okay. Hold up. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> okay. 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 No more playing around. No more doing this. I'm gonna Ready? kick your ass. Go. Doing if I had the brawler, then yeah. Cause I'm more like, I I am more like in tune with the me brawler, solely because like he he the most closely resembles. The actual character from the game. Like, I made the Me Brawler like as close as I possibly can to the actual character. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, people are texting me all of a sudden. I love it how like no, like I text people, they don't respond until like I, until I, I start like recording or start doing some shit. Then they start recording. And because dash text, and we have the speed. Oh boy. Ready? Go! Uh, da, da. Uh, ha! I won't lose! Uh. Uh, 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 ha! Where I expecting that, were you? Uh, she fast for you? God! Victory! Victory! Ooh, sauce. Battering items. Where's the me? Where is like the me brawler? Like I want that dude. Like I want him. Cause like I love like the character. I love the character. I, I love. I love. I love that character. Really do. Cause like so in the main. So in the game there are six playable characters. Um, it, the, uh, I say what the game is about. Okay, so the game is. Uh, I want to be roughly like a roughly based. It's, it's gonna be a JRPG. It's gonna be a JRPG. And it's gonna be like a big nod and like I, I, I don't I don't know how to say the words, but like it's a big nod reference and like appreciation, like big nod reference appreciation, you know, um, spiritual successor, whatever you want to say it, of cl of classic JRPG game. So this gonna be like it, it's basically gonna have that it's gonna have that that, that good mix of the feel of classic GRPG and modern GRPG. Like for like how I say by classic, classic and modern, take for example uh, the Final Fantasy series. If you take uh, Final oh. Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 15, the new Final Fantasy 15, they are widely different, but widely the same. That, I want to have that sort of feel where like old school fans of GRPG will love, while Newcomers to JRPG and new school uh, JRPG fans will also love. I want to have that same feel. Um, like I like I want the gameplay style to be roughly um live action turn based. Put that way. For example, to put like to put like a good reference to like a to, like a JRPG out there that has like something similar to that. To some good reference, think of it as a uh, Final Fantasy 15 and Final Fantasy 12 kind of gameplay. Where it's not it's turn based, but it's also live action turn based. So you, you can move around during combat. You know the enemies wide in the open. Although all this is like still like you know all this is not like set in stone. Like I'm like you know if if like I, I'm still like you no know, debating and like still like up in like up in the air like you know trying to figure out like what can I like what I want and what can I do. Like what are the limitations Ready? that me and uh, the future team would do. So as for the um, as for the characters, there are six playable characters. They are Dan slash Vanos. Name is still pending. Uh, Dimitri, uh, Cass, Hunter, Kyle, Sam. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> Hunter, Kyle, Sam, uh, Dimitri, and Vanos. So basically, every like JRPG kind of has a theme. 
like, like, if you ever, like, watch, if you ever, like, like, play any JRPG, they always have, like, this theme, this underlying theme that makes, uh, that basically, that basically, like, um, makes, the basic underlying theme. So we kind of want the theme of this game to be basically, uh, multitude of things that make you want, that make you question a lot of this stuff in reality. For example, we want the, some of the things to be what happens after death. Uh, finding a place where you belong. Wh where do you belong? Returning home even though you have no home. Like, there's something similar to that. We want to have those themes that make you question. And, we, like, that's, and same goes for the villains. We want the villains to not be classical villains. I don't want the villains to be classical, like, you know, like, stereotypical villains. Like, oh, I'm evil for the sake of evil. I want to control the world because I want to control the world. Like, I want to control the world because I'm evil. Like, you know, like, I, I don't want that. Because honestly, I think characters or villains who are like that are just are just like you know but oftentimes they are bland oh that, and my that's my personal opinion like you know change my mind if you can but my personal opinion that characters or villains that are like that they're oftentimes very bland and holy fuck it's pac-man <laughs> holy fuck it's pac-man but oftentimes they they feel very bland and short and they don't really lack and they like they like lack like anything that makes you want to sympathize with them so that's why most of the villains here we want them oh oh more than cloud okay we want um we want the villains to be sympathetic like we want you to understand why they're doing it's like oh shit they're doing uh they're doing they're, they're doing this but i can understand why they're doing this ready go oh, no. sorry uh, sorry i'm but like we just want them to be like, oh, we're evil for the sake of evil. We want them like, oh, you know, you're doing this, you know, even though it's fucked up, I can see why you're doing it. And he got fuck. Like for example, uh, the character Jabez. At first glance, it's like, holy shit, this guy's like, you know, this guy, you know, is an e is a bad person. This guy's evil. But when you play the game, when you learn more about Jabez, and if you like do the quest to learn more about Jabez and all that. You will find out he's not really that bad of a guy. He's like, you know, you can understand why he this. Or for example, oh Jory! Oh fuck, I love I love her in Street Fire. Oh, same thing with, with um with Xandra. No, we want no when you first look at when you first meet Xandra, you're like, holy shit, this chick's batshit crazy. <laughs> this bitch is crazy as fuck, what the hell? <laughs> like I should stay the fuck away from her. But when you learn more about her and all that, you're like, well, I can see oh my gosh. When you, when you like, when you learn more about, it, you're like, wow, I actually, I actually understand why, you know, Ooh. like, well, I actually understand why you're doing this. Like, it's, it's fucked up, you know. What happened to you is fucked up, but like, it's, I can still see why. <laughs> oh, did I win? Oh shit! I, oh fuck! I won! I didn't know what the fuck was happening there. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. But yeah, another like we want all the villains to make it, and that's why all the villains have that like are sore like There is very few villains who are like, oh, I'm evil. Why? Oh, because I'm evil. We want majority of the villains to be like to make you sympathize with them. Like another case is you, right? Um, no, UK. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I'm changing to UK. But yeah, um, without spoiling too much of it, like when you first in UK. Hate Kyle with a passion, like he bloody like has a blistering rage for him. It's like he wants nothing but to make him suffer, make him pay. You know, I hate Kyle. How like you know, Kyle will suffer. I want him to bleed. I want him to like you know. When you, when you first realize, when you first like find, when you first like counter, and you're like, wow, this guy's just like bashing crazy. Like this guy just wants nothing to kill Kyle. Ready? Why is he doing this? Why does he want Kyle? And when you learn down the line why he hates Kyle so much, it's like. I could see why, like, in the same predicament, I'd probably do the same thing in, in your predicament, but it, it's still, like, dude, it's still, like, dude. Ah, there we go. Alright, so let me just, uh... Let me, let me go and unlock this character then, and then call the part. Let me go unlock this character, and then I'll call the part. But yeah, I, I can literally talk about this all day. I really love, I really love. Uh, also, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in the game, we want to have, we want to like, have sort of like a bond system. 
Like, you know how, like, in some games, like Persona and, um, like, Fire Emblem, there's, like, a bond system? We sort of want something like that, where, like, you can spend time with certain characters, you know, engage with certain characters, you quest for certain characters and all that. And that will raise your bomb, and by doing that, that will help you out in in the in combat, even in the world. For example, um, if you raise your bond with Hunter, you know, like, during combat, you know, Hunter might do more uh, combat with you. He might, you know, he might aid you on combat. You know, certain certain enemies, you know, you become stronger against certain enemies because of your bond with Hunter. So, you know how, like, in uh, Final Fantasy XV, how, like, you can, like, like, you know, you can basically, like, do combos with certain characters. You know, like, look, 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 like, when you're in combat, you know, certain characters you can do combos with certain characters and all that. You want to do something like that, where your bond with your with certain characters, depending on how high it is, depends on how much damage you do, the, how long the combo is, like, what the combo is. You want to be similar to that. Ugh! Right, fuck out of here. And we also want to have something like... You also definitely want to have something like a limit break, like you know, like 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 you know, like 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 how we said how like the take weapons were a bunch of RPG. Most classical Japanese, even now, like most classical Japanese have what we call a limit break. That's when characters like when they get hit enough or do certain things, they can unleash a very powerful attack. We want something similar to that. That's why we have. That's why I want to have something called like the, the trance or the overdrive mode, which is basically if you get hit. If you get hit enough, you do certain things enough, you enter in sort of like an overdrive mode, and that basically doubles all your stats and allows you to change normal combos and normal limit breaks into overdrive or trance limit breaks. So, for example, uh, let me actually pull up the fucking. Um, I let me actually pull up the example. I have a lot of this on Google Docs. So let me actually pull up an example of what I'm really talking about, where I, where I say trance limit breaks and combo limit breaks. Uh, oh, for, yeah, for example, um, Dimitri, right? One of his limit breaks is, one of his normal limit breaks is called Jackson's Fist. It's basically, he used one of his hands to do like a rapid fire, he does a rapid fire punch. Now, if he's in overdrive mode or trance mode, you know, that would be, instead of it being Jackson's Fist, it would be dual Jackson's Fist. So normally it will be one hand, if he's doing trance overdrive, it will be both hands. Sort of like a full-on like Jojo or 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 maybe, maybe something similar to that. Uh, another example is Cass Cassandra's. You know, uh, one of her limit breaks is Bullet Tornado, which is basically you know. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, don't want to spoil it for the movie when the game comes out. You can see what the move looks like, but yeah, you can sort of get like image of what 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 is. When she's in overdrive trance mode, it will be called instead of it being um Bullet Tornado, it'll be Bullet Hurricane. And it's just like a more intense, uh, more damage doing, and more stats effect doing character uh, move. Also, each character has like Ready? certain roles that like that can help you out in combat. For example, Dimitri is a uh, like Dimitri and Vanna. They're they're like a heavy. They're heavy. They're um, but likely they're DPS kind of character. They are they are fast. You know, like like Vanna is a very is a very slow character. He's very he's very fast. Uh, they're very fast, damage characters. Hunter, on the other hand, he's more of a tank kind of character. You know, he's a character who he can deal a lot of damage and take a lot of damage. The thing is, like, especially when it comes to range, especially when it comes to um, flying, uh, range, since he is a dragoon in a sense where he's a lancer, uh, he is built to be a tank kind of character. He's the kind of character that has a lot of HP, that has a lot of defense. He can go in and, you uh, Basically, take a lot of hits. While Cassandra is a is a gunner, she can she's basically the kind of character who can deal a lot with range. She can basically basically take out enemies from distance through range. Even though that she might not do as much damage as Dimitri or Hunter, she has the range ability. So if you want to like get that distance, if you don't want to get too close to your enemy, or your enemy has some sort of like effect that makes it not makes you not want to go anywhere near them. Cassandra is like a perfect character, especially if you're dealing with flying, if you're dealing with flying enemies. I mean that naturally, uh, uh, Thanos or Dimitri can't really, you know, aren't really go up against. You have Hunter and, uh, you, have, you basically have Hunter, oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck, oh, what the fuck going on? You have Hunter and Cassandra to deal with range. Same thing with, um, Sam and Kyle. They're magic users. 
Kyle is more like the black black magic, you know, uh, damage healing magic, while Sam is more like the white mage healing factor. So she's the one who can heal and give positive stack effects to your party, while Kyle is the one doing magical damage to enemies. Same with Cassandra. Cassandra gives stat effects that benefit your party. So yeah, it's a very um. It, I, I thought I thought a lot of that. I thought a lot about it. So if anybody definitely wants to um, definitely wants to help, uh, want, definitely wants to help, or like definitely wants to like you know, chime in or help, uh, all, all all help as well. All help as well. So I'm gonna call a part right after this. Ready? Go! Hot! Uh, nope. yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck, fuck, I got that. Come here. Oh, bitch! Bitch out of here! Victory! That was easy. That was, like, sort of easy. Is that just me? Character is, like... Okay. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this part, guys. We come back... We're exploring more down here. I think down there's like a new. I think down there's like a boss area. So we're gonna be we're gonna exploring more down there. Find the boss, kicking more ass, and surviving the world of that. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to win the fuck am I? What the fuck? Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the cool bell for your side to always stay notified. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye bye. -bye. Wee! Oh shit, which one to go? Uh, I'll go this way. Cheer, like, cheer, like, scale of it.